But the question is the confirmation of the nationality. Nobody realizes that the confirmation of a person who is in prison in India, whether he is a Pakistani or not, it may take up to one year to complete the step for money. And something can be done. I am sure civil society organization, as Mr. Mahesh Bhatt is saying, if you can raise your voices and say, why is this delay taking place? Why is the government not bothered about this? Suppose uh, if they were to give these instructions, I am sure this entire process, maximum period should be one month. And I have done this. I came here, I went to uh, Delhi or Amritsar in prison, and then the Pakistani High Commission were with me, uh, people were with me, and then there were Pakistani prisoners, and one or two came before me, and they said we were from somewhere in, in Multan, and I said, what is telephone number? Give me the telephone number. I had my mobile with me. Your name of the father, they showed papers, letters received in jail from the parents in Multan, in Amritsar jail. In the presence of the Pakistani High Commission people, I rang up that number, I said, who are you? Mr. So-and-so. Do you have any person by the name of so-and-so? Yes. Where is he? Sir, he is in jail in India. What is his name? This is the name. Date of birth, date of birth. Then I said, Mr. Deputy High Commissioner, here is the telephone, please confirm. You know, in two minutes it was confirmed that he was a Pakistani national. I said, I told him, have you confirmed that he is a Pakistani national? He said, yes. Now, if I can do it in two minutes, why should it take one year for the confirmation whether a particular person in prison is a Pakistani or an Indian? And the same thing happens. See, when I come to here and stay with Ritu, I feel I am staying with my daughter or my sister. So there is no difference between me and Ritu. You see, she will do the same thing which I will do. So if I go, uh, the, the, what, whatever the, the process in Pakistan, the same process is followed in India. India will also take about one year to confirm the confirmation whether a person in Indian, uh, Pakistani prison is an Indian, because we come from the same, uh, the roots are the same, the culture is the same. So we think the same way. It's only the governments of the two countries who want to make uh, uh, mileage out of uh, taking small instances and creating uh, problems for both the countries. So, in my view, uh, the, this either this committee or some mechanism should be uh, adopted so that as far as the issue of fishermen, it can be solved within a week or within a month. Why should these cases go to court? Why can't a small commission say, I would say, Mr. Mahesh Bhatt from here and somebody from Mr. Akmal Vaseem or somebody, uh, create a two-man commission. As soon as a fishing boat is arrested, get the fact before them, call them and then one week they will say, all right, let the fishermen go, we'll decide about this boat and the boat may also be released. But if a fisherman comes back again and again and again, perhaps then you can send the case to the court. Why? What do you get out of putting these people in prison? I don't know what what uh, political mileage these people from when both countries get out of putting these small, small people. When you talk to these people, I, I remember uh, there was a person who, who was suffering from HIV and we made arrangements, we sent him by air with a doctor to, 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 to Mumbai here so that he, he can go there. And Jatin went and uh, saw that uh, boy there. If uh, I am sure if there is a Pakistani prisoner in that, in that condition, I am sure some civil society organization will see to it that he is also sent immediately. So as far as fishermen are concerned, why keep them in jail? I say all the crooks are free, but these small people... You see, when I go to Pakistani prison, and I can say the same thing about the Indian prison, when I visit the 28 prisons in sin, I find the poorest of the poor sections of society in the prisons. You don't find a big man at all. Not even a person from the middle class in any of the jails there which I have visited. The 28 years. Is it only that poor persons commit uh, crimes? Is it only that fishermen are looting and destroying the two countries? Why should they be kept in prison at all? You know the other day when I went there, Koji do army do lot of kya was bakriya churai thi. Ab aapne pura bulk loot liya, uske liye to kuch nahi kya. Aapne se ek ne ek bakri churai thi, they are in jail. And look at the judges when they pass an order, 
they say is how 10,000 surety can you imagine a poor person bakri usne chori ki hai bakri kis liye chori ki hai ek to shayad chori nahi ki hogi chori ki hogi to bakri ko to bakriyan ghar ghar pehti rehti hai na to fir aapne bakri kisi ko utha liya ab usko ye to nahi likha hota ki bhai tender kar hai ya mai bad hai are bakri ek jaisi hoti hai sare aapne wo bakri ek chura li and the man is in prison there is nobody to look after him if our uh, organization was not there he might remain in prison for 6 months 1 year 2 years 3 years something must be done by the civil society and governments are not going to do anything unless there is a pressure and the civil societies are the pressure groups in the country they must raise their voices again and again and again so the figures are uh, we have a large number of uh, people in uh, in indian prisons and in india Uh, in pakistan there are hardly about 50 or 60 civilian prisoners and some fishermen they would also be released and i think 95 uh, indian prisoners uh, nationality has been confirmed and i think they will be released very soon otherwise we will raise hell in, in pakistan that if they are they have completed their sentences if their uh, nationality has been confirmed they should be released and uh, the other day i got a call that 12 Uh, Indian fishermen reached uh, the uh, Atari border. I think yesterday they were twelve prisoners. So, uh, if there are any questions, uh, I may have left out a uh, large number.